scientists have come up with the reason why we haven't heard from aliens yet alien believers from all ages and countries this concerns you and you probably won't like the news but here it goes scientists say that they found the reason why we haven't heard from aliens yet the Fermi paradox states that the universe is potentially infinite it should necessarily be teeming with life so why have we not found any evidence yet one theory to explain this is that a civilization essentially becomes so big that it becomes impossible to sustain itself and it dies out with the universe being 13.8 billion years old man's earliest ancestors have only been around for about 0.36 percent of this time and modern humans considerably less this implies that civilization is likely a head start of at least millions of years on us meaning that we still probably seem like chimps in comparison but due to the technological advances made in the last century alone a mathematician has calculated humans are likely to be contacted by aliens within two millennia and then there's another theory that's far less exciting the idea that there's no more life in the universe this has been the panorama between positions for a long time until now according to a new study life as we find it on earth may be more difficult to achieve than we believe it to be the research has proven that there's an essential lack of phosphorus in the universe the element is one of the most important ones because it's responsible for a lot of the fundamental aspects of life itself mainly it helps us to move energy around our body and also forms the foundation of our DNA the findings suggest that it's almost impossible to sustain life without the element in massive amounts and that any life that could form on a planet would shortly die but the research now shows that if we have enough on earth it's because we live near to a supernova and it gets even more complicated phosphorus in the universe comes out of the explosion when a star dies but the typical supernova might not have the right conditions to create it so it seems that we're more than lucky to be alive because we're not only close to a supernova but we're close to the right supernova astronomer dr. Jane Greaves from the University of Cardiff said the route to carrying phosphorus into newborn planets looks somewhat precarious we already think that only a few phosphorus bearing minerals that came to the earth probably in meteorites were reactive enough to get involved in making proto biomolecules if phosphorus is sourced from supernova and then travels across space in meteoric rocks I'm wondering if a young planet could find itself lacking in reactive phosphorus because of where it was born that is it started off near the wrong kind of supernova in that case life might struggle to get started out of phosphorus poor chemistry or another world otherwise similar to our own this evidence was possible to encounter because of the study of two different supernova remnants called Cassiopeia a Cass a and the famous crab nebula the team used the UK's William Herschel telescope on La Palma the Canary Islands to check out the phosphorus and iron from the crab nebula the aftermath of a supernova explosion 6500 light years away in the constellation of Taurus and previous studies have already studied for phosphorus from Cass a 11,000 light years away comparing those two studies researchers came up with a surprising discovery the amount of phosphorus was much smaller in the crab nebula in comparison to Cass a dr. Phil Segan another of the Cardiff astronomers said the two explosions seem to differ from each other perhaps because Cass a results from the explosion of a rare supermassive star is it possible that we're just a rare coincidence in the universe that made us be it is strange that until now we've not heard from any form of intelligent life the findings were presented at the European week of astronomy and space science meeting in Liverpool the scientists now plan to continue their search to see if other supernova remnants also lack phosphorus either way in our cases we can just say aliens I want to believe